Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of a special video uh, because I have now over a thousand subscribers, which is nuts. It's uh, pretty crazy. I, I don't know, I just, I think I've told a few of you in the comments that I pretty much just started this channel so that I would have record on how to install things that I could just go back to, but uh, people seem to like it, so good stuff. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> um, figure this video, we're gonna work on as you see here, i got a different setup now. i got the Wii bar on the left. So I'll go over how, how to do that if you're interested. So that'll be the, the, the topic. Uh, one thing you'll note, uh, this is a laptop. I am running Arch on my laptop and uh, I'm running Gentoo 2 on my desktop. But uh, the laptop, uh, I, I don't know. I just prefer Arch on this one. A little bit easier. Things like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm going to bring up a few things here. Um, first one is going to be Okay, so I have an alias called EA, which is CD to Config Awesome and Open RC Lua. So again, I'm just going to do this real quick. I think I've done this before. So if I just go EA, search for EA, you see that it's uh, CD to Config Awesome and Open RC Lua. EW is the same thing. So if I do EW, it's going to open Wii dot Lua in this con in this uh, in this setup. So anyways, that's that's how that works. So um, let's go back to EA. So when you're making a new Wii box, and a lot of this stuff over here you'll see is pretty much what I had in the horizontal bar before. I just kind of stacked them along the, uh, the left-hand side. I have my launchers here. Um, so the first thing you need to do is just do a search for Wii box. Um, so you had like your My Wii box, which is pretty standard for all awesome. Um, like a, a vanilla installs, they'll have a my Wii box thing, and then I defined a my bottom Wii box, and now I have my vertical Wii box. So you need to add this line here, and obviously if you have two Wii boxes, you need to define them here. So this is where you create the Wii box, and then all these stuff. The next thing you do, it's pretty simple. Uh, once you get it figured out, it's not too bad. So then you create the vertical Wii box. So you call it my vertical Wii box with S's. Awful Wii box. Put it up to the left and um, you're going to give it a width instead of a height. So if I go down here, uh, this, is, this has a height. When it's, uh, when it's to the left and vertical, it needs to be a width. So then, yeah, it's just a matter of adding. Uh, it's it's got to be a little careful here because uh, I have some things stacking from the top working down and then other things stacking from the bottom working up. So you're going to have uh, define it as my or top left layout, and you call it uh, fixed vertical. Pretty simple. And then just add them, and this is the uh, top left layout that you need to keep calling. And then you have another one that you call bottom left layout. Same thing. We box fixed vertical. And then at the bottom, when you bring it all together, so this basically adds those two together in this we box. So you say top layout. Um, I don't know why I called it top layout. You know, I'm going to go ahead and change this just to show you that you can. Left layout, left layout, left layout, and just go ahead and change it over here. And one thing you can do if you're in Vim or whatever, you just do a search. So you do search and look for top layout. And it says I can't find any. So there aren't any lingering references that I need to take care of. So. And you say, okay, this left idea of left layout or vertical is a uh, Wii box layout ver align vertical, similar to what you did here. And then you say left layout, first thing, set top, meaning top left, and then do it again, set bottom from the bottom bottom left layout. So that kind of says, okay, combine the uh, widgets coming down as well as the widgets going up. And then you just say, okay, the, well, this vertical Wii box is going to use this combined left layout. So that's that's kind of how it works. And I think I think that's the last time that it's mentioned. Uh, then it's just a matter of uh, you know making your widgets and adding them as you see here. Um, you know, then you can do things like uh, have Alt L, which which hides the left bar, and Alt T, so Alt you know left L and top T. So I can get rid of both of those and you know have a full screen. So Alt L Alt T. So anyways, that's a pretty short, pretty easy video, but it wasn't obvious. I had to go through the old API 
awesome API. Uh, there was like one or two websites out there that actually had reference to it and understanding how to combine them together like this, these attributes from the top and from the bottom. But you know, if you look at the, if you go down here and you look at the uh, vertical or the old horizontal, and if you just want to turn one off, you just basically don't create the bottom we box. So that's the only thing I, I believe that's the only thing I did. I, yeah, I commented out the bottom one here and the top one here, and then it doesn't define bottom we box, or else it'll there could be an issue with you know can't find something so make sure you remove all those references if you're not going to use it or else it will put it down here and just be empty or be it'll stay there so I guess okay let me try to make that concise so if you have a bottom we box that you want to get rid of you don't want to delete the whole thing you can leave all the stuff in here just delete or comment out the creation of the we box here and here where you bring it all together this other stuff can just kind of chill there they're just variables Okay, so yeah, that'll do. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for, uh, for a thousand subscribers. That's pretty cool. So I'll talk to you later.